Okay, so, Ben, I, I, I got a question for you. Yeah. All right, so, I was thinking about One Piece, and I had this idea, or it was more of a theory, it was more of a concept. Yo, do you think that devil fruits mold a person's personality? Uh, I mean, yeah. I swear to God, I really think they do. Uh, I think uh, your devil fruit and your personality end up becoming a part of your devil fruit after a while. There's so many characters where that's the only explanation for how they are. Yeah, I, I think I did actually read somewhere about devil fruits affecting the personalities of the users. Like, like look at um, look at Gecko Moria. That's the laziest piece right, of he was, shit. Right, he was so lazy. He, but, ha <laughs> but I hate fighting him in Pirate Warriors because all he do is lay on his fucking side. <laughs> rifle the shit out of him. Like. He's the laziest piece of shit. And the reason why is because his power basically lets everything do everything for him. Yeah. He doesn't have to do anything. Yeah, he makes minions. I mean... Bro, bro, the whole war, all he was talking about was the corpses he could gather to make new minions. Dog. Yeah, I really feel like that's what Patrick is devil for. Because think about it, you just would be... I would be... Bro, no, I don't have to do anything. Even if you don't have a corpse, you could just get your shadow to do it. Yeah, true. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, really just don't. give me a cup of water. It would just, yeah, you it would just make, go get it for you. you yeah. just, it would just make you like the laziest person ever. Most definitely. So. All right. Yeah. You don't think it would? Oh, okay. I, I think it would. Not, not a leading authority here. <laughs> it's just, it's, I'm just, I think it would. Oh, I mean, you're getting there. You're past the time skip. I really think it would just make you, or Luffy, Luffy, Luffy is the most, Annoyingly Can reckless I, person. No, he is so reckless. Bro, bro was, and think about it. Since he was, I mean, he's gotten better. About no, it, no. Know. Since he was seven, since he was seven years old, he's been made of rubber. Yeah. But it doesn't matter if he's fighting or not. Just since he was seven, he's been made of rubber. Yeah. So he does he'll fall off the roof. Oh, look at that! On that jump, fall, hit his head, just like he's good. Yeah. Just get up, shake it off. Run him. He's so not used to hit, getting hit by shit like. Yeah. Like, maybe get hit in the stomach with a high key fist, he's gonna be like... What? Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be like... Yeah, it's gonna be... If you had, if you, since you was a kid, like, and you just... No matter what you did, no matter like, who picked you up by your jaw and swung you around, <laughs> and then threw you into a wall. It was an angry right. shark man, he just threw him, he just got him, he's like... Yeah, it'll make you, I, I get the feeling it'll just make you like the most reckless person ever. You can, nothing would matter, you can... Yeah, bro. Even even when it came to his crewmates, bro, good always, they could fall on you. But he was always slingshotting them like halfway across the islands and shit. But all, all of his crewmates. I mean, post time but he skip, grabbed them all and jumped up a waterfall. Yeah, because bro. he was cool. He was like, all right, all right. Then, bro, that <laughs> yeah, shit don't happen good. for the rest of us. Yeah, bro. Like, I mean, he's gotten better about it since the time skip. Like, I saw one time at Fishman Island. Like, he grabbed. Everyone, he grabbed like Sanji, Chopper, and everyone, and he he threw his arm up and he grabbed the thing and he and then he like he pulled himself to it and then he brought everyone, but he didn't like send everyone like crashing into oh, the fucking wall, uh, like a waterfall he, like, or something. He like yeah. set everyone down like softly. I was like, oh shit, he he done got better about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, he used to be so bad about that. Well, you even still look at his recklessness. It, it's still you can still see it because well, first off. He still don't dodge bullets, bro. His recklessness. He still extends, don't dodge bullets, bro. But he fought Z, like, but you can't shoot bro, me. You bro, can't when shoot he me, fought bro. Zephyr, like, he was like, you, you can't shoot me, bro. Like, yo, bullets are pointless. He didn't even try. <laughs> he didn't even try to dodge it. He didn't even even think about bro. factoring in about a Kawasaki uh, bullet. He was so reckless. But Zephyr could have shot him in the head that day. Dog. He could have just been dodged in the end. So ends, bro. Monkey D. Bro, Zephyr just shot him in the shot him wherever he shot him at a point. He was like, yo. Shot him in the gut. Like, just like, not even like in a, a like you know, a vital part. He just shot him like in the side of his gut. Like, ah, what the fuck was that? A bullet. That's what those feel like. Shoot you. <laughs> That's what those feel like, bro. I was like, yeah, I realized, bro, when I, heard, when I realized Luffy never been shot, I was like, that's so bullshit. But Laudan got shot. Lightyear yeah. got shot. Yeah. I'm just like, Sanji got shot. Zoro. Sanji got kicked in the chest with a rifle. Mr. Two hit him right in the. <laughs> when that thing went through a stone wall, bro, he just, he just got him. He took it. Yeah, bro. bro. I was like, yo, I, you know, I did. 
not. <laughs> he took it. Bro, One Piece characters have bro, Sanji got the stabbed wackiest ten endurance times. Look, I've Sanji ever got seen. shot five times. You think about it. He had five she guns. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, like you can deal with it. Yeah. yeah you, I would die. But bro, you got his throat slit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? No, but um, or like another example, like, look at Piranha and her depressing ass. Yeah. Uh, like when she described, when she told Usopp exactly what it is those ghosts do to people, I was yeah. like, yo, how did you not fall to your knees? And it brings you to your absolute lowest point you can possibly be. Bro, he just caught a, caught like a, <laughs> he was good, he just shook it off. <laughs> okay, now I gotta think about how to get out of here. No, he was already. Well, yeah, but it brings you to your absolute lowest point. So, so she clearly understood that. It brings you to down to the the most pathetic. You you feel so worthless. Yeah. Bro, so she understands bro. that. Because the second Usa didn't feel that way, she shed bro. a tear. She shed a tear. <laughs> she was like, yo, I can't even make you more depressed than you already are. Don't give up. Yeah, like, don't give up. Bro. It probably makes her the most empathetic person ever. Yeah, man. And probably the most depressing one, too. Because she like all that ghostly shit. And she's like, yeah. Right. I'll be sad all the time, too, if I knew I was doing that to people. Bro. Yeah. So I get the feeling. Did I give anyone? Of devil fruits that could probably that probably molded a person's personality. Because if, if you if you have it for so long, you just you just get used to it. It will just mold kind of how you are, how you behave. Right, Ivan. Oh, Ivankov, dog. Ivankov. Oh, nah, nah. Oh my yeah. God, bro. Like, yeah, like I mean, his I don't devil know. fruit allows him to swap to, genders. Swap genders, change the rapidly, just change the hormones in his body to whatever he deems fit. He does it all the time, like whether it's the hormones to make his head larger. I mean, but he he constantly uses mannerisms from both sides, the <laughs> gender spectrum. Like, like, uh, your mind couldn't take it. After a while, you'll be like, oh, I no matter what the hell you were before you ate. You are what you are now. Yeah, you just yeah. So he, I mean, he kind of has that. Like, you know, both manner, I guess. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah, he does. Or she does. And whatever the hell form. He or she, she does. may be in. He and or she. He turns a train. I don't know. I, I never thought of that. That's I mean, I'm like, oh, go ahead. That's not the right word. I'm mad for that. A train. Okay. He could. Because he could change his hormones to the most mind blowing thing. Whatever <laughs> he wants. Oh man. Oh no. That's an interesting concept. The fact that a devil fruit can potentially alter a person's um genetic makeup. Just a potty behave, essentially. Yeah. The thing about it, bro, ask him, bro, if I could turn invisible, yeah, I would look at naked women all the time. You wouldn't stop me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You couldn't stop. You wouldn't stop me. I steal so much money, bro. I'm, I, bro. I'm invisible and I can do it. <laughs> like Unless you no, know, wait, wait, no, wait, no, 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 you'll be, you'll be a pervert. You would, or some <laughs> variation. You be, I suggest you either be a pervert or a kleptomaniac. Probably you steal shit all the time because you just could, you couldn't stop them. But you'd be a pervert, man. I'm telling you, like I think the fruits have, bro. Absalom, straight licked Robin. Yeah, no. Dog, straight licked them. Why? He licked Nami in the bath. I was like, yo, that's so, come on, dude. Come on. Yo, why? Hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's interesting, though. It really is. I mean, like, the hell? What would, what would Joseph's devil fruit do to him? I mean, because he was a straight diamond, like, the fuck? Hmm. That's I mean, I don't know. It definitely... I mean, we've never really seen much of Joe. Uh, yeah, definitely. Joe seems like to a guy, he know you ain't about shit compared to him. Like, he, he <laughs> feel like he, he feel himself. I guarantee you Joe's be feeling himself. This is man attack marine animals. Those are just not things you just attack. Bro. Like, ah, fuck ass, Admiral. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, he does come yeah. straight going in. Yeah, Joe, I know you be, you be feeling it, but you're, you're made of diamonds. What can you do to me? <laughs> but, well, I, mean, I mean, who's out there? the shit out of him. I mean, but you, you're starting off on your pirate adventure. You yeah. know, some random um, dudes in a bar getting glass bottles. <laughs> Bro, you can't. You know, fuck, I'm a face. <laughs> Just back at Yeah, but. And I, and I know hockey, dog. What could you do to me? Just like Kizu, but I, I realized why Kizu's reactions are so slow. He doesn't need him. He's just fast as hell. Dang it, because I'm thinking, man, if I had Kizu's zero food, I'd be the speediest, bro. Kizu was so, he'll be like, what? Oh. Uh, like a cannonball or something? <laughs> he's just like, oh, I got no, not you. I just let it hit me, whatever. He just, whatever he feel like, he's just like, yeah. I just, he's so quick, why does it matter? The sky lights up. He's over there. Arlong was fucking them battleships up. He wasn't even an admiral yet. Nigga just from the battleship in the air, bright ass yellow light. Shot the shit out of Arlong. Arlong was put down. He's like, dog. Oh yeah. Bro, he's real one shot at the hell out of. Well, I mean, yeah, he would. What could Arlong do to Keys with all that fishman talk? Nothing he could do to keep him. <sighs> Bro, Arlong couldn't even do anything against Jimbe. Arlong got Have beat down. What Jimbe Ar- can do? Arlong got beat down in the sand. Right? Mm. What about Crocodile? Do you think his his personality is a product of his devil fruit? Mm. I mean, he did seem kind of a sandy bastard. No, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what that means personally. I don't know. Because then you have people like Doflamingo Crocodile. I, like, nah, I don't see what your devil fruit could possibly attribute to you being. Like, some strings make you feel like you're a god. Like, I don't I mean, get it. I mean, he, I mean it's he what like, he do with him that probably makes him feel he, like that. The ultimate puppeteer. Like, yeah. like, you do what I say, whether you like it or not. Uh-uh. It's like a god complex. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean bro, because no matter he what make people you just want, do what he you wants. just... just <laughs> I have six threads. I call them my god. <laughs> it will impel you and you will die. You will die. Slice Sixteen you of them. The, slice you in the five pieces. But he has such a thick body of hockey on those sixteen threads. And those were just buildings turned into it. Like, it wasn't even like just six string, normal strings that you can't even see. It was just thick, like building size. Yeah. But yeah, most well, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't get crocodile. Though. Get him? <laughs> like I don't. Yeah, I just I don't know. He's just a sandy bastard, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was just all I was all I could he's describe. Just a sandy bastard. <laughs> he's he a, he a most, raspy motherfucker. He's the sandiest bastard. Like, like, he's such a bastard. Bro. He's like, such a sandy bastard. Why, why, why would you? To, he tried to drown a country. <laughs> he, tr- he tried to drown an entire country. Sandy bastard. But he was the same. But I was like, oh, you're just the right bastard, aren't you? Those videos are 13 minutes. Oh man. That's all I had to say on the subject. Yeah, Andy. Nah. I just. Hey, he's such a sandy bastard. The <laughs> sandiest <laughs> bastard. Fucking buggy. God. Uh, what about Buggy? If, no, I don't get Buggy because if I had Buggy's food, I would know I'm the shit. I but nah, the but nah. See, that's the thing. Buggy. He 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 hasn't trained a day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell Buggy is the kind of nigga that never trained a day in his life. He never. But when Luffy <laughs> found him, we assumed he was the crustiest nigga. It wasn't until later when we found <laughs> out, and what like, it wasn't until later when we found out that he was actually a. Uh, a member of the Goldie Rogers crew. He was a cabin <laughs> boy with Shanks. He never trained the day in his life. <laughs> him, him and Shanks were once cabin boys. Shanks is a grown ass man. He's a four. He was one of the four emperors. Buggy's a grown ass man. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> the 
fucking around in the Eve Blue, nigga. You weren't even on the Grand Line with your weak ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? What's Buggy doing? <laughs> Man, want to know our position. Uh, weak ass went for the Grand Line because he wanted to try to kill Ruby. Fuck, what are you going to do in the Grand Line? <laughs> you dumbass. You never trained a day in your life. <laughs> but you've been getting by off your luck. <laughs> I'm <laughs> the owner don't give a shit about Buggy, no. <laughs> bah, 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 Buggy. Uh, uh, Alright, Buggy is amazing. Dog, that Intel Down speed had me in tears. Alright, well, I'm just gonna be bad at that. Yeah. Yo, but, um, low key. Yo, fam. Mm. Sean is Luffy. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna lie, Luffy was kind of, Luffy was kind of like, he, it's, he's ridiculously strong. Bro, I swear since the first episode, I was like, bullshit. Bro, bro he, his strength beats only got worse and worse. It was just so much, but he punched a lady off her boat. But he punched, not only, but he punched her to a devil fruit. She landed <laughs> on an island with a devil, a devil fruit. Wherever that was. Wherever it was. But she was a speck in the sky. And she was a rather hefty lady. Oh, she was big. Okay. And when you think about it, she was big. How hard do you have to punch someone to pick them up off of their feet? And this is a 17 year old boy, much. <laughs> you know, he didn't even bazooka her. He didn't. He could have bazooka her. But he didn't. He punched her in the face with enough force to pick her up off of her feet. And send her flying into the sky. Yo, in all honesty, bro, I have no idea how the hell Vita didn't die from that. She know. is a One Piece character. She, she like, is. like a few others, most of which, uh, the, bro, there are very few characters in, in the One Piece world that I have seen with butter knife level durability. But even Usopp don't have butter knife level durability. Well, it looks like I got hit in the face with a four ton bat. I was like, bro. I was like, damn, and you're alive, how? Like, <laughs> no, hit in the face with a four ton bat. Bro, the fi a fishman ran at him full speed and punched him in the face. <laughs> threw his, threw his fire star, punched him in the face. Yeah. So hard. He, 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 off he the ground. punched him. He, he sandwiched his head between his fist and the ground, and he mm, and and he bounced into the air with a crinkled nose. <laughs> Usopp, but Usopp got up, and proceeded to beat the shit out of him with a hammer and a rubber band. How did how? Yeah, bro, the base durability in One Piece is crazy. Like Luffy's durability don't make no fucking sense to me, bro. I'm just like his durability and his strength is insane. Bro, he punched. Well, okay, so like he, Don so he crunched Spike, off. No, bro. screw that. But even before that, bro, he bazooka buggy to I don't know where. Bro, he bazooka buggy to, to an island. I don't know. And then after that, he, where pick, he, he picked met. up a giant cat and like and power drive it. I was like, that's a big ass cat. <laughs> he just picked it up, power drive it. He broke Don Creek still. I was like, bullshit. Like, bro, this, ripped, this still can't be as strong as you say it is. Like, he ripped the mast off. Not the mast. He ripped the what's the what's the front part of the ship with the figurehead on it? Yeah, the figurehead. He ripped the figurehead beam. <laughs> he, he, dog, I forget. What, he what ripped the called? figurehead off a. Of what is that ship? called? It's called the figurehead. figurehead. Just, just that whole shit. beam that the figurehead is attached yeah, to. Yeah, it's, it's part of the figurehead. Yeah. Okay, oh, he ripped that off. Yeah, he, the yeah. front of your ship. And then he, didn't he punch him a cliff and then he just shattered it. Like, yeah, he I'm, did. I was like, why'd you punch the cliff? Like, Bro, dog, I'm not even joking. There was one time he he went on a rant because Kuro was talking about he wanted to be a pirate. But Luffy reached behind him, like stretched his arms behind him, grabbed a fat ass boulder, brought it in front of him, and, 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 Kuro, and caught Kuro's blades in the rock. He then proceeded <laughs> to hug the rock so hard that it shattered into a smaller rock, which he proceed, which was still very large and 
could not be picked up by a grown men, many grown men that I know, what? much less a 17 year old boy. <laughs> picks it up again, breaks the swords, and smacks Koro with it. <laughs> Why? Why can he do was that? a 17 year old boy this strong? This was physical brute strength. <laughs> Nothing else. A rock. Yeah, because you know what? His devil fruit just makes him be made of rubber. That's all it does. It gave his body the properties of rubber. His, his monster is strength is literally but all His him. strength is is a product of Garp's training. Yeah, before he left. And his training with Ace and Sabo in the forest. Yep. The strength comes from that. Jesus Christ. He didn't even do that much. I mean, no, Garp did like throw him in the ravines and shit. Um, Tied him to balloons. I think I'm... Oh, I was like, why? Hey, what did this boy do to deserve that? But, uh, man, that is so true. What he, what, 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 he, he bit a steel ring. But he caught Jango's steel ring, steel bladed ring, with his teeth. Mm hmm. And then bit it. And then brought his head up and bit it so hard that it shattered. This man. Fucking picked up a giant cow and swung it around all along park, just throwing it in the shit. I was <laughs> just like, well, <"Whoa>, baby. <laughs> oh, dude, why the hell is Luffy so? It, it, it got progressively worse as the series went on. As the series went on. Bro, in the Alabaster, bro, I would never, I don't understand how he did this to Crocodile. But do you know what bedrock is? That's everything under you. I don't, I don't, I don't understand how he did this to Crocodile, bro. Like, he, he fucking, okay, so like bedrock. Hard shit, like it's, it's it's under all the cement, the clay. The, it's just like the thing of the earth that keeps the lava out. It. It's, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> so he, he kicked them into it and then punched them through it and then went up. Yeah, and he just kept going up. So he punched a man through solid bed. Like he punched. Yeah, they fully. He put him in a meat binder. Yeah. Punched the dude. No, no, still going, still going. And then not only did he push him through the bear brook, the town square above level. Yeah. The buildings fell over, he lit up, and then he went into the atmosphere. Struck it up from the force of the punch. It, it burrowed him through bear rock and sent him into the sky. Yeah. He kept going and going. And he, lost. he lost no momentum. None of it. I was like, how the hell did this 17 year old boy, bro? He was. He was tired. He was dried out. He was, he was half he dead. Was, he was poisoned. He was half dead. He was bleeding to death. Yeah. And I was just like, yo, what the, you don't have the energy to do that. You mean when you're like almost dead, you can still hit someone that hard? Yeah. And I was just like, but he, Alabas, he saw a town. It was run dry. It used to be he I heard like it used guy. to be a. He heard it used to be a. Utopia of water. Yeah. It was dried out. Luffy was so angry, just punched a wall, collapsed a building. Zoro in the distance looked over, wasn't even shocked by it, just said, mm, uh, I hope he feels better. <laughs> that 17 year old boy just collapsed the building. He punched it. He shattered and punched, it, and punched it. It was done. But it was a literal building. It wasn't it was like the wall, it was the, the whole thing just. Damn. He <laughs> just punched it. Why the hell is he so, well, after that where he shattered solid gold? Solid. But you know how I don't even if you ever just got a brick of gold, you pick it up, slam it down, hit it with a hammer, throw it against the wall, you'll never crack it. Like <laughs> you'll like, like if he broke the thick ass gold beans and, that were supporting and the belt. The beans that were supporting the belt. And he shattered the gold ball on the wrist. Yeah. But the force of his punch really made it break. Go, but I lost. I was like, but you didn't do that. God damn it, Oda, why? <laughs> There's people stronger than him. There's people. St oh, go, go for me to pick up a gold bar. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Cracking in half. And just like... Yeah. That's he Why? why? Well, how strong is it? Well, because I'm convinced, bro. I see so much stuff that just makes me immediately assume Luffy is the strongest person on that planet. I realize it's not. He kicked an island. It's like, it was done. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it, was, it was gone. He kicked an island. But well, he was stuck between two really big, really tall buildings. Two really big buildings. He had, 
He wasn't it even was like skyscrapers. He wasn't even in a comfortable position. He wasn't. He was like he had no leverage. Bro, he was kind of like this. Bro, I don't know how. And then he just like I, I'm gonna just in my way. I'm gonna push it out the way. Ah. They broke at the base. The building structure broke at the base. He moved. He not only moved them. But they were so close together that the way he was pushing them, all they could do was break at the base. He punched a tsunami or a tidal wave or whatever the hell about to hit the, the puffin town. Yeah. He punched a hole in it. I was like, what the fuck? And they rode the straight through it. Straight through it. Why am I gonna punch it? Like, what is that possibly gonna do? <laughs> Gatlin and shut up Lucci. I felt I felt bad for Lucci. Well, I knew Lucci died after that Jay Gatlin. No. Nah. Like, he's dead. I was like, bro, it's like you know how hard Lucci hits? Bro, yeah. Lucci hits hard as hell. He yeah. drove the man through bed. Bro, he punched that man through the wall. He punched him. You couldn't even he was hitting him at the same time, like he was hitting the show that he was hitting them so quick. But I can only imagine that. I feel like you just get a bunch of rubber balls and put them in sacks and strings and spin them around and hit you with them over and over again. But you gotta throw them so fast, like you can't even see them anymore. Oh, yeah. You couldn't even see his fist and it was hitting him. It just looked like he was getting hit by it. He, he, he was moving faster than the sound he was making. You, all you heard, you saw him lean back. No, he was making a bunch of sound. And then he leaned forward and he. <laughs> He was making a bunch of sound, but he was moving faster than the actual sound that he was making. That was so like, uh, and he was hitting me. This man hit that. This man hit a lot. But it, it literally just got. I don't know. And then he didn't have really any really insane strength feats. So I'm like, well, Amazon Lily. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't really, he didn't really do yeah, too much yeah. Amazon Lily. Like, Amazon was kind of like a cakewalk for him. But let me see. Uh, and Thriller Boy. And Thriller Boy. I mean, I don't know, 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 but his, his street, his strength piece are just freaking good, they, they don't, they really don't make sense to me, like, uh, why the hell is that boy here, so he's 17, and then, uh, then I found out where he, now he's, apparently, he, he, as hard as Luke, he can hit you, he was still apparently too weak to hurt people, in the Marine Corps War, there was something yeah. he just couldn't beat, I was like, no, like, what? Man, it's God. <laughs> like he, he, he listen to the things he's done. You know what? That's cool. Yes, I was impressed. But I mean, God punched eight mountains to dust. He punched them to dust. And they, they called it training. Why the hell are people want to be so goddamn they hit each other? <laughs> Oh man. Bro, when he broke the Noah, I was like, you didn't just do that, bro. That that shit was humongous. That shit was I think it was big enough to no. so it, it was big enough that it was gonna shatter it. it. It was gonna run straight through it. That was the plan. It was yeah, gonna yeah. drop it on the island. Yeah, I know. It was gonna that ship was going to island bust in that island. Where he'd done it before. It was going through mountains. Yeah, bro. Nothing stopping that. Like, bro, that wood was so intensely strong. I was like, yo, wow, you're gonna shatter it. Yo, you can't hit it hard enough. Islands don't stop it. Yeah. It doesn't even crack. So you can't hit it hard enough. Okay. So you're not. I was like, bro, you couldn't. Yes, he made his way down. Like, you're gonna, before, before, it, before it hits the island, like, bro, that's not even a plan at that point. He was going to. They had to stop him. The stupid sea cannon to like, can't let you just break the whole ship, like... <laughs> what you know what that is? Well, yeah. like, we're fine, we'll catch it. Jesus, calm down. <laughs> but no, no, just every, dang, everybody was in the zero time. Everybody, bro. Everything would have hit the island. Whoever didn't die from the impact would drown. And... So he punched her. He punched Holy into a mountain. And then he eat for a minute. Come on, he shattered. He punched. He punched. <laughs> Holy into a mountain. And the mountain shattered. 
Bro Hodgkin Simmons would say, like, oh yeah, now if he'll get hit by losing, he'll get up when he wouldn't. Well, he wouldn't. You can't tell me he would. He could, he could not. But if, if, no. if, if there was ever a fight, no, and Luffy got the first hit. Oh, Naruto? He did. But not, not, keep in mind, Naruto can't hit Luffy hard enough. Man, Luffy still has way too much. Yeah. No, Naruto can't hit Luffy at all. Luffy's made of rubber. Exactly. Punching would do nothing. It wouldn't. Yeah, you'll have to just constantly throw Western shurikens at him. Even that one. Maybe he's still too quick to even hit him. He's still too quick to even I mean, you would immediately dodge. He'll be cloaked. And then you try your best, you know, six to have more shots at a lot. But, again, gonna, you might but see, if you it. piss him off, he's gonna go gear for it. And then you're but, just really but, going to die. But I'm not really ready. You run the risk of catching a jet pistol. Like right in the jaw. Yeah. And then you're just done. Yeah. Now his fall would shatter. No, I told you that. It's faster than one of his normal punches. And it has much more power. It, no, it would just kill him. Well, I've seen Naruto get hit by, like, the stuff, no, well, you can kill an Naruto. I've seen Naruto get hit by less and get hurt more. Way more. Well, you, I, I would kill an Naruto with a well placed kunai. He's gonna yeah. catch him like, and nah, he's gonna you know, throw it out. Nah, he's gonna beat him, he's gonna die. Yeah. He's a person. Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah he got the, if, he, if he has the cloak on him, the cloak will soak up damage, but it's only gonna soak up so much. Your chakra will run out. It will. Yeah, yeah. sure. You talk a little bit And then after, you sometimes I can still hit you. can feel it. If the hit's hard enough, you can feel it through the cloak. Yeah. So if you're chakra real. And that's what happened. He runs on chakra. He will run out. Yeah. Luffy was half Fine dead. Out. Luffy was half dead and he still punched him on the three bear rock. Yeah. He doesn't lose any of the power in his attacks. Yeah. The more chakra now he uses, the less power he has. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he wouldn't last. If he but did last, if his chakra bro, will run out. But even if he has sage mode. Yeah. He, if Naruto used Sage Mode, he get strength comparable to Luffy in like the first episode. Yeah. Luffy's so much stronger than that. No, no Naruto. Well, Naruto picked up a rhino. You know how easy? You know how many Sea Kings Luffy punched? Well, Luffy would have probably punched that rhino into the ground and the ground would have shattered. Maybe he probably punched it into the atmosphere and it would have just been gone. Like, he would have fragged it and he would have hit it way harder. Like, oh, yeah, well, I was like, Naruto. Bro, Luffy. No, it's not even stronger than soccer. Bro, Luffy fresh out of the time skip. Punched a pacifist. Damn, yeah. Which which had no change in their design, so they were still incredibly fucking powerful. Sanji the danger took nine Sanji, of you to beat. Sanji pre time skip almost broke his leg trying to kick one. Yeah. Said he couldn't do it again. I think he was using Diablo Jambe yeah. when he did it. Yeah. No. Sanji's like, yo, that's just too hard. With a Diablo Jambe kick. Sanji, pre time skip Sanji almost broke his leg. And that's Sanji, goddamn. You know how hard Sanji kicks people? Yeah, Sanji kicks people. So he, I've seen Sanji rearrange the bone structure on people's faces twice. That was, yeah, that was all pre time skip. Yep. Bro, uh, that, that, that kick he ended Jabber with, I was like, damn. Bro, Sanji kicked so hard as hell. But he hit Mr. Two so hard, he had to wait a minute. Mr. Two is funny. <laughs> we just, oh yes. Yeah, he, boy, Sanji kicks people hard. Luffy bro, he kicked, punched he a kicked pacif- an alligator bro, Luffy into the sky. Bro, Luffy proceeded to punch a pacifist. It broke into the ground. Yeah. It bounced up and landed down much harder than anything I've really seen, and that was literally just a punch. Yeah. A single punch with the smallest coating of hockey. This fist didn't even turn black. Yeah, just hit it a little bit. Punch it in the jaw, but it was literally done. And I was like, yep, that's what would happen if he hit you. That's what happened to Naruto. But you're not about to try and sit and tell me that Sanji would break his leg kicking Naruto. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. I wouldn't believe you. And I mean, to be honest, like, even if you, like, to, and at the point Luffy is, like, he's not, yeah, he's about halfway through. So, I mean, using the Naruto from about halfway through, he probably wouldn't even have. If Luffy, not from halfway through, you're talking about, like, my pain in the No, that, no, that Naruto would have no chance in hell against Luffy. No, but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, to, Naruto, to as to, he is now, at his end of series. That would have still, to be end of series, Naruto. And he would last slightly longer. 
No, he will last a lot longer. I give him that. Yeah. Because Naruto, one thing he does have over Luffy is experience. A lot of times. Uh, like 34 years old. Yeah. Luffy's like 19. Naruto's so been alive a lot longer and far more battles. Yeah. He has. That's in the series. So he has battle experience. You know, he's very observing. He's speedy, so he can dodge. If, yeah, he can dodge Luffy before how long. He's gonna run out of traffic. That's the whole. Doesn't matter. He knew, he knew, he's not even faster than Luffy. He just has a lot of speed himself. So he goes, yeah, he can fight. He can throw his brush and shurikens. Yeah. I'm not about to see him say Luffy hit behind him. And, yes. I mean, and that's not even taking anything from Naruto, because Naruto is hypersonic. Mm -hmm. But so is Luffy. Mm -hmm. and Luffy dodged a liquid explosion. From inside the explosion. From he dodged the explosion from inside the explosion. Mark 25. Oh, base speed. What well, feeling doesn't matter. He dodged it. It blew up. He, he did still get faster. And he did not get touched. Or the scratch on Dodge explosion from inside of it. The gel, the, the ooze or whatever, it was wrapped around him. It was on his flesh. He just exploded it. Look at his next to Man! I was almost got hit by that. I'm going to let it go ahead to the gym. <laughs> it was still on the sky. It just blew up. But then it was a snap of the fingers. Oh no, he hit the little thingies. And then it blew up for There was no delay. I'm not gonna say this here. If Luffy got hit by a rest and shuriken, that he would like just walk off like nothing. Nah, that's a damn weapon. Shit, he should level mountains and stuff. And yeah. Even so, it won't kill him. He's been hit by way worse. So. Yeah, he's been he's been hit by Doflamingo. <laughs> Dog. He took Doflamingo's freaking god for it. Like, why he couldn't even move? <laughs> I was just like, ah. Man. I mean, that's why I don't get that whole Luffy's weak to blades now. That's what people try to say. He just has no special resistance. He has no special resistance to it. He don't get damage. He's, got a yeah, he's about as weak to it as Zoro or Sanji or anybody. He's just anybody. He's a person. Mm -hmm. He just has no special resistance to it. It's still a blade. It's still a cut. It don't mean, ah, oh, why won't we get this blade? No. So I've seen him move get cut so many times. Move gets stabbed with the heart. With the hook. But the hook has to go in you and turn. And then uh, come out. Because he took it out. You know, like, ah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Well, he got, he got freaking Luchi was lighting his ass on fire with she guns. <laughs> like, just hitting him all over the place. He was getting shot. Like, damn, he was getting shot. Take that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you cocky ass. You can't shoot me. But, um, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't see it. I don't say anybody could ever say it. No, he wouldn't last long. The fight would just be over. It really would. I can't even. Or like Sasuke beating Terror Brother because they all get to the Susano is done. He's gonna cut him, he's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, bro, I, I, that, that was solidified in the fight Sasuke had with Donzo. And I realized, yeah, they just came to take a hit. Sasuke killed Donzo like six times. Yeah. That's to kill Donzo so many times over the like, bro, how is you not dead? Bro, I get the eye. Through the chest, Donzo. Like, oh, he's an eye. Shot him with an arrow. Oh, no, bro, he's an eye. Donzo was weak. And he just got shot. Like, he was like a cut. He just died. That's going to happen to you. You don't matter how sure you are. Yeah. Donzo wasn't weak. Yeah, so I killed Donzo so many times. Like, mm, you, you people just can't take a hit. Take a hit. And then you do take a hit, even if you survive it. Like, look at like um, Kyrene when Sasuke Chidori her. And it didn't kill her, but she was done, dog. She wouldn't have got medical attention. She would have sat there. She would have bled out. She would have She wouldn't be able to move. She got a, a, a lightning spear through her chest. Oh, man. It's not as if it beat, like... He, he just wouldn't go, like, cause Sanji would end up with a single kick, that it would be done. Frankie would punch him, he would be done, you know, like, uh, Not until when I live through a good breast. I don't believe that. That shit. Nope. Nope, that would kill him. What, the coup de vent? Nah, 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 that would kill him. That's just... I'll bring it up with one hand. That's just air. Or he just Frankie crushes does, you. He does it with one hand. Yeah. Now until it go fly into a wall and go splat. Splat. What I'm out. Still wins the tail 
Seven Hokage, man. <laughs> oh, Naruto got one shot by an eight-year-old, man. You can't tell me. <laughs> you can't tell me. Look at in them. Naruto so basic. He's doing really so ass. Bro, he my hit this dude. Ah, hit him on the seal. He was done. Knocked yeah. his ass out. Or he was out for the day. Or knocked his damn demon fox out. <laughs> he was done. But I can't even work on Luffy. He doesn't have chakra. He doesn't have chakra points. What that do? He just poking him. He just annoyingly poking him. 64! What the hell are you doing? Smack him in the face, crush his skull, and die. <laughs> Luffy hits too hard. Smack him in the face, crush his skull, and die. die. It's just. I, I don't see Naruto being. Bro, I've seen it happen too many times, bro. Oh. In, that, in that one minute melee, Luffy landed the first punch, and the, logically speaking, Naruto would have died. He should have died. Because that was yeah, Shippuden. That was but that was Shippuden Naruto. In the beginning of the series. At the beginning of Shippuden. Which is like, so, even even if you put him against Luffy at the beginning of his. The very beginning of One Piece, he was still a body that Naruto. That word. They put him at the very beginning of the time. Too. No, that would be too much. Luffy at the start of his series was no, a body no, 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 no. I'm saying what they, I'm saying what they did in the melee. They put him at the start of the time strip. Yeah. And so we mean he, if you wanted to, he could have King Kong them. At, at that point, yes, he could yeah, have no, King Kong. No, hell, no, he's gonna live. But look, but look, but look, but he threw the first punch and he landed the first punch. Logically speaking, Not he should have died. died right there. Skull should have cracked. His spine would have shattered. <laughs> a little. And then he just <laughs> laid there and died because he got hit by fucking Luffy in the face. Uh, was the man who the beginning of Shippuden Naruto, he didn't even have a hand on the man. The man shared it go with his bare hands and he punched didn't. the man through the bedrock. Have a handle. Yeah, he should have, and all, for all intents and purposes, he should have died it, right there. And that should have been the end. But, uh, some people think that wouldn't happen. And I don't know why. I know someone, they told me that they think that any Naruto character will be able to survive Senior Pink's Baby Buster. No. And I was like, that's just not true. That is not true. A uh, Baby Buster, no human alive can survive a Baby Buster. Well, like the B Baby Buster? <laughs> but they went into the ground. They didn't land on the ground and create a crater, they just went straight through it. Oh, uh, it's like, yo, ah, uh, you just went in it, like a bullet, you just, oh my god. So, uh, they had a, they had a pair of, um, I mean, they had a went all the way through to the, through the island, but that whole island got changed. I'm surprised you get it. Damn. Imagine, if you keep fucking, just touching someone so hard, they fly and kill. Bro, he punched up a mango. So hard, but Luffy's fist never hit the island. It never hit the island. He destroyed the city. The Luffy, the city busted. Bro. It was gone. I was like, yo. You saw him hit. Those niggas body hit the ground. Then it split. Caved in. And went down. I was like, mm, damn. And I looked, I was like, yo, wait. His, that was after he lost momentum. Because I don't stop his punch. Mm-hmm. He just broke through, uh, hit him, hit him in the face, broke his glasses, and dope me and went down. But the force of me getting sent into the ground shattered. So, if Luffy Swiss would have hit the, the whole the, the country with it, the whole country. I guarantee you, the whole country would have just been uh, gone. It would have just caved in. Which is insane. Like, oh, yo, when you didn't ever do that around me again. Thank you. If you could just be in, on the other side of the city, fighting your fight. <laughs> city caves in, goes around like, damn. King Kong. <laughs> oh, 